welcome to Rick Scale Model Fix and a tools, tips and techniques video. In this one we're going to be looking at dealing with aircraft canopies and we're going to be using the Hawk in 48 scale as a quick demonstration on how easy it can be to mask these manually. Not all canopies are easy to mask, it depends on the manufacturer. Uh, manufacturers like Airfix tend to use well defined framework on their cockpit glass work and they can be quite easily masked in what I call a manual way with Tamiya tape, a knife blade and a pencil. For the more complex ones, certainly Hasegawa the framework is very fine, sometimes it's hard to distinguish where those boundaries are, in which case canopy masks such as the ones by Eddard, the yellow Tamiya tape ones or Montex which are vinyl are a lifesaver, can be quite expensive. Um, but the amount of time they save and your eyesight is probably worth the weight in gold. Eddard ones are probably slightly better I think, personally. They tend to stay stuck down. It is Tamiya tape at the end of the day. Where the Montex ones are vinyl, they tend to peel after a short period of time. So not really helpful if you're one of these modellers that attaches the canopies during the build and leaves them masked up while painting weathering etc until the end they're not going to work for you they're going to peel off so let's look what can make the task in hand a little bit easier tool wise so I use a Swan Morton number no. 3 handle with a brand new 10A blade some display tweezers various widths of Tamiya masking tape pencil and our cockpit glass so I'm using the 48 scale Italeri Hawk cockpit for this demonstration and we can use a couple of methods to mask this. Now the framework on this canopy is rather basic which makes it an ideal subject in which to demonstrate. So there's a couple of methods we can use. First of all we can take a piece of wide masking tape and we can lay that over the framework then using our pencil we can burnish up to the framework like so leaving quite a well defined line so the pencil has left us a nice line there to follow so starting with a corner, we're just going to rest the tip of the brand new blade and just cut very gently along. Using that pencil line as a guide, just making sure the blade just stays up against the framework, trying to do it in one motion. And then we can simply peel away the excess area to leave a nicely masked surface. So with that rear section done, we're just going to do the centre framework. Now this is moulded incorrectly on the Atelieri kit, it should be internal. There we go. And then we're just going to burnish this down with a cocktail stick. just to make sure we don't get any paint creep or bleed under the edges. And then using our pencil, we can then just make the mark for us to follow with the knife blade. And making it nice and easy to follow and then we're going to repeat on the other side and 
and we've got that pattern coming through and then we can just draw on up to the framework to give us a nice line to follow and if you use a really sharp pencil it does make quite a fine line So you can see the framework now on the cockpit. So starting at the corner again, we're just going to draw the knife blade along that straight edge. And then we're just going to follow the arc of the framework over the top of the canopy. And we're stopping at the centre section. And then we're coming in from the other side. really tight up to the framework and make the cuts meet in the middle then we're going to do this other section so again nice straight edge and then again just following the framework to the centre and then from the other side over the top for the two cuts to meet and then we can peel away the masking tape sure we don't lift anything up. I've not quite got the cuts to join there so we'll just join those up. Peel it down the other side and remove the excess. And there we go, nice neat centre framework. So we're just going to now work on this front arch. And because this is a bit tighter, we're going to need a narrower band of masking tape. But the same principles apply. So we're just going to mask the canopy arch at the front. Burnish it down with our cocktail stick. Do the framework with the pencil. Working on the straight edge out. Get the knife blade up against the framework. Very, very light pressure. This is why it's important that you use a new blade because you don't want to be putting too much pressure on the cut because it will mark the clear part. You're just putting enough pressure on just to cut the masking tape and peel away the excess. Like so. Now we've got some areas that need to be filled in. So we've got a couple of straight bits there, so for this we're just going to use some 6mm Tamiya tape and we're just going to cut this into small sections and we're just going to get an appropriate size and we're just going to lay that along the straight edge. And on the other side, I'm 
and then we're going to fill this bit in and you can use your off cuts of masking tape for that so I'll just get some uh, 10mm there let's just cut that into little strips I'm just going to work over canopy just masking the bits we want to protect So. so that's the, f the front portion of the Hawk canopy mast. We're just going to repeat for this bit now. Like so. So that's our completed mast up Hawk canopy. So the next step for this now would be to spray the interior colour over the clear part and then black or primer and then black because the last thing you want is when the cockpit's open is to have this clear section looking as though it's a bit transparent. So by making it light fast, by adding a primer coat on top of your internal colour before spraying the top coat. I'll just give it a bit more colour density and it'll make it look a bit more realistic. So that's how I mask my aircraft canopies. So I hope you found the information useful in this short video. So good luck with your next masking project. So until next time everybody please look after yourselves, stay well and take care. Mm -hmm.